Welcome to Road Adventure Photos. I'm just leaving Danville, headed up to Lake County today. It's going to be a good ride. As you can see from the vid the picture on the video here, that uh, Painesville is a really beautiful town, really beautiful courthouse. There's a downtown square with lots of nice businesses. I didn't want to spend too much time there, though, because there was a protest going on. I'm not a protest type of guy, especially when what appeared to me from their literature, they were a Marxist group. So that's definitely not my thing. I don't want to get into politics much, but they were uh, doing their thing, and the rumor is they start like this, and then buses come rolling in. Well, sure enough, buses were rolling in. So I didn't want any part of any of it, and I took a few pictures and headed to Headlands Beach. It was uh, disappointing, disappointing to see in such a small town. But that's how it goes. That's what you run into. When you're out looking for pictures, you really never know what you're going to get into. Here's another view of the courthouse and the church and the Civil War statue. And on we went to Morton Salt up by the Headlands Dunes State Park. And uh, a lot of people don't know, but Morton Salt mines a lot of its salt in the Great Lakes region. Uh, New York State is also another region for salt, but uh, the mines on Lake Erie are very huge. It's a major industry up there. Once at Headlands Beach, there were many youths with all sorts of cars hanging out. They've got nothing to do with the virus situation, but I got quite a laugh when this car pulled up it's a auction police car and all the kids rushed over to it they were in love with the auction police car everybody wanted to see inside of it they asked where they could get one the uh, the youngster really had something there with this old police cruiser this is the first view you get when you come up the trail from the parking lot from a distance, it looks like any other beach. Once you get up closer, you start seeing the trash and a lot of things to be concerned about, and it's uh, not your normal scene. There were definitely people from all walks of life there, and it uh, made the beach watching different than other places. There are so many pictures of the Headlands Dunes Lighthouse that 
I didn't want to copy it. Same goes for Marblehead. It's really tough because so many people take pictures. You want to do something, something unique. So what I did here was use the atmospheric haze to kind of create a mosaic, mosaic look to the photo. And I was happy with the result. And this photo is of the grass in the dunes. I didn't explore the dunes a lot, but right as you come up the trail, there's some you can't miss. And it was interesting to see such a formation of sand in Ohio. Well, for the parting shot, I give you the solo shoe. In this case, a lone flip-flop. Left on Headlands Dune Deem Beach, with the rest of the trash. We'll never know what happened to the other one. For more pictures, more videos, go to roadadventurephotos.com and thank you for watching.